Well, welcome everyone. I think you all know that we have a new member of the family here at the Topeka Zoo and Conservation Center. Uh, we were surprised today, although I guess for as long as this has drawn out, we should not have been surprised. But uh, just before noon, Adley's water broke. Uh, shortly after that, she presented with uh, two front hooves um, extending from the birth canal. And while I'm not sure the exact timeline, uh, I would guess that it all happened within about a half an hour. After weeks and weeks and what felt like weeks of waiting, uh, it was about a half hour of action and a beautiful giraffe calf uh, on the ground. It, uh, the birth happened uh, the way it should. Uh, there was a lot of fluid flying uh, in different directions. Uh, the calf literally does take a fall to the ground, but that fall is important. It does a couple of things. It breaks the umbilical cord. Uh, that impact also really helps stimulate that first breath. Uh, almost immediately after it hit the ground, our staff could see it was um, breathing, and they backed off, uh, and backed off for the sole purpose of giving Abby a chance to um, come back to her calf. She was a first time mom, and when she finally actually gave birth, she kind of took off. Um, but since she came back, she has been absolute perfect mother giraffe. Uh, she's been cleaning the calf. When uh, uh, the calf is trying to stand, she's right there. And uh, when the calf is just resting, she's standing guard. And that's the exact sequence of things that you want to see. Uh, what we're hoping to see next from the calf is it to stand up. Um, stand up on steady legs. It has actually stood up, taken a couple steps, but then uh, was on some uneven oh, terrain oh, and kind of toppled backwards. Um, oh, that might be it. Um, and, and if this is that moment where uh, standing and steady feet, uh, then that's absolutely wonderful. Uh, earlier this spring, uh, we conducted a naming contest and the name that was chosen is Konza, K-O-N-Z-A, after the Konza Prairie, uh, which if, you're, if you have Kansas in your blood, you know that prairie and what it signifies, and um, we cannot be happier to have a draft named after it.